Hello to all of you lovely people out there. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 8. And today I'm showing you via a writing prompt how to write stronger descriptions. So if you don't know me, I'm Octavia D. Mason, giving the best practical writing tips to the beginner writers, helping them begin and build a great novel with confidence and a strong foundation. We're gonna jump right into that writing prompt that we have today. And the subject is this. Describe your Christmas tree without using any adverbs, words mainly ending in L-Y, and these are words that describe slash modify the verbs. And the practical writing prompt tip that I have is if you expand your thinking, you expand your vocabulary. Writing descriptions are more than adverbs. I think as writers and as authors, we have a tendency to add a lot of adverbs to our writings in order to have the appearance that we have a stronger description or because we think it will help describe something a little bit better but in all reality, these can be fill, filler words. And I wanted to test myself in writing the description of my Christmas tree without using those adverbs because I can do it. One could listen to Christmas music every moment of every day, and I have. But what is Christmas and Christmas music without a Christmas tree? There is something special about having a seven foot evergreen tree in your home place ever so slightly in front of the main window for neighbors to admire, placed in just the right spot for you and the family to see throughout days and nights of hot chocolate in Christmas movies. More so than sparkling stars, silver drums, or golden bells, the tree alone brings light into the home, no pun intended. It's the precarious act of hanging ornaments with friends and family that warms the soul, it's the tone-deaf renditions of Christmas songs that make draping temperamental gold tinsel around the tree merry and bright. It's the approval of a Christmas tree well-decorated that causes everyone to stand back in awe. This was kind of in a third-person perspective, kind of like a outside-the-box narrative. And I, the reason why I wrote it that way is I really didn't want to write it uh, first person and I think that even though I wrote it in this third person narrative that you were able to get a picture of what the tree looks like and this is an actual description of my tree I have those bells and those little drums on the tree and I chose to move it in this direction because I wanted to not only showcase how a Christmas tree makes me feel but also show what my Christmas tree looks like. And I think that's one of the best ways to use your description is to use all of your senses when you're describing something. So feelings can be a part of that sensory detail. And you can use how you're feeling, what you're seeing, what you hear, all together to use in the description of something that is around you or something that your character is seeing or feeling or looking at. And so that is one of the ways to be, to have a stronger description in your book is to use all those senses, to use how you feel, to use what you see, to use what the characters see, taste, hear, and feel. So there you have it. My writing prompt for today for Vlogmas Day 8 and how to write a little quick tip on how to write stronger descriptions in your book. If you love this writing prompt and if you want to know a little bit more and dive a little bit more into the writing prompt, head on over to my website at OctaviaDMason.com and check out that writing prompt. And if you love this video and want more videos on practical writing tips for beginner writers, be sure to check out all my other videos on practical writing tips on this YouTube channel. And I will see you in the next video tomorrow. Peace. Thank you.